Worldwide News. I am your host, some might even say a star on the rise, Mason Carter. And today on Worldwide News, wait, what's that? My sources are saying we have some breaking news. <laughs> My sources say that transgender discrimination is on the rise. As you can see by this infographic, it shows us that 90% of transgender individuals have experienced discrimination in their workplace. These numbers are astoundingly high, and as a community, we must do something to fix it. But before we divulge into an expose on transgender discrimination, let us first view the topic through a literary lens. <laughs> Now I know many of you are probably thinking, a novel with a transgender leading character, but I hate to break it to you, that's discrimination. Banana Yoshimoto is a renowned Japanese author known for her unique modernist novels. Yoshimoto used her literary presence to shed light on the discrimination that many people in the transgender community face. So let us now talk about Eriko, a character that represents the masses. In the novel Kitchen, Eriko says, and then, when I became a woman, they cursed me. In this quote, she uses the connotation of the word curse to show how her community actively rejects her because she chose to become a transgender woman. More specifically, her in-law. She had a strong relationship with. They chose to not share their lives with her anymore because she wanted to be a transgender woman, and they discriminated against that idea. Eriko's powerful message inspired me to divulge into the discrimination aimed at the transgender community that plagues the American workforce. So let us now jump back over to the pressing matter of transgender discrimination in America. Discrimination. Why are the numbers so high? So the main reason for the high number of discrimination in America is the lack of legislation. The only federal implication is the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, which is derived from the Civil Rights Act. Now this act, while helpful in some ways, generally does not, as you can see by this infographic, only 26% of states have taken the initiative to put laws in place to protect their transgender workers. Now, while that is progress in itself, 26% out of 100 is still a very small percentage, and it leaves very high numbers of transgender individuals at risk for discrimination. As you can see, folks, the numbers simply do not lie. 14% of transgender individuals are unemployed. For those of you who aren't very well endowed, in math, I mean, that happens to be double the national average of the American population that is unemployed, which happens to be 7%. 44% of transgender individuals happen to be underemployed. Underemployment means that they possess skills that are not being properly utilized or utilized to full efficiency on the job and 26% of transgender individuals are fired simply because of their gender identity. Moving right along, let us now talk about the side effects of discrimination. Transgender individuals face very high odds of unemployment and underemployment simply because of their gender identity. Discrimination against transgender individuals leads to inequality in the workplace simply because their rights are not viewed as, as necessary as the rights of the general population. Inequality a product of discrimination and its many forms. The first form of inequality that transgender individuals have to face is the denial of health insurance benefits. Transgender employees can often be excluded from basic health care and insurance rarely covers transition related care. So transgender individuals will have to pay for these operations and procedures like testosterone therapy out of pocket simply due to their gender identity. The next inequality that transgender individuals face is lower wages. Along with other minorities, transgender individuals face pay inequality due to their gender identity. This probably plays a very large role in the low number of transgenders in the workforce. The final and I would say the most important aspect that is unequal for transgender individuals is medical leave. Due to the widespread lack of understanding, many employers will deny medical leave to transgender individuals, and this is very bad because there are many necessary procedures that need to be taken place for transition-related care. The life-altering decision. 
Many transgender individuals find themselves having to decide between their career and being who they are. They have to deny who they are or face unemployment due to the discrimination and inequality that they will inevitably face. quite the renegade politician. That is why I have devised my own three-step plan called the, wait for it, Transgender Equality Act. So, step one of the Transgender Equality Act, or T-Act for short, is to alter the existing legislation that protects against gender-based discrimination in the workplace. Transgender discrimination is a form of gender discrimination and should be protected under their policies already in place. Now on to step two. Create a federal panel that fields reports of transgender discrimination and inequality. This panel will have the power to prosecute perpetrators once significant, significant evidence is found. All prosecutions will be binding, especially in the private sector. And the final step of the T-Act is to implement informative courses in publicly funded schools to teach children about the LGBT plus community. This knowledge will help America's youth to create a country that gives equal opportunity to all. As we all know, nobody comes into this world with prejudices or discriminates against a certain group. But it's integral that we take these formative years and instill equality and non-discriminating attitudes in America's youth. And that does it for today's edition of Worldwide News. Thanks for watching.